I chose to focus first on the personalization principle. I wanted for my students to actually be able to hear me say the information I was presenting. Several times before students have missed the steps I've given in my lessons because they can't hear and retain what I'm saying. This way I'm giving my auditory learners an opportunity to be fully engaged as well. Also in my research I've learned that students learn better based on what they see and what they hear. Next I wanted to focus on pre-training. So I included a video that gave a brief overview about the eight parts of speech. By allowing the students to take notes on the overview, this allowed them to personalize their learning when they got into the meat of the lesson. Finally, by using the segmenting technique, my students previously completed the KWL chart. Therefore, they knew what parts of speech they should focus on first and which ones they could review at a later time. This allowed them to create their own method of lecture and their own process of learning. Overall, I think the research-based guidelines that I learned and incorporated and really took and I am going to take with me were that of the how to effectively use my graphics and images and how to effectively use audio and video. In the past, I used random pictures that didn't really teach the student the concept I was trying to learn. I just wanted to break up the monotony of the text. So I was using insignificant images, animation, and video. Now I realize through doing the storyboard that I can still have effective images, graphics, and pictures, and video, and they can still not only be engaging to the student, but they can also help the student learn. Describe where simulations or games might be appropriate to use to enhance learning in your lesson. I definitely think that I could probably use my IKEA account and create a couple of games that will only enhance their learning with the eight parts of speech. The first game I would probably create would more than likely be a flashcard game where they make sure they have a good memorization where they can basically regurgitate or reproduce what the eight parts of speech would be. The second game I would do is where they'd have to maybe start applying the eight parts of speech where we do a Jeopardy style game or simulation or we could do a who wants to be a millionaire type scenario. The third level um, which would be in the higher level which would be the create level is where I actually have to have them take one of the parts of speech and they have to write an original creative story where that part of speech is a character that way and then they have to use that part of speech function to better um, and create the story based on that where we went from low level games to a high level simulation so that is where I would actually take a game and add it to it so if we had a week seven that's what I would work on for that overall I did enjoy doing the storyboard it was a little confusing for me at first but once I understood the format and I was able to just realize it was just me being a teacher and creating a lesson for my students, then it got easier for me.